Hi everyone, today we're going to be unpacking this absolutely huge box I got from Madeira Threads. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I run a business called Pink Bird Originals. It's an embroidery business, I work from home, and so this box is absolutely stuffed with all of the essential things all of the consumables that I need to run my business. A few people have asked about what products I use and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show everyone. The total value of this order came to about £500, not including VAT. I don't think Madeira are the cheapest suppliers out there, but I definitely find them to be the best quality and that's why I keep going back to them. As soon as I opened the box, I actually remembered that I forgot to order something. I was meant to order needles with this order, but uh, that slipped my mind. The whole reason I buy in bulk is to get uh, free postage. Um, so I couldn't just buy needles individually because I wouldn't qualify for the three free postage. So I'll have to talk about needles in a different video. But yeah, just removing the um, paper packaging. I always keep this. I find it's really good uh, packing material. So I just fold it up neatly and stuff it in a drawer in case I need it to say package something fragile. Just a handy thing to hold on to. And we love to recycle in this house. That large white cylinder that's filling up the majority of the box, that is a medium weight tearaway stabilizer. This one weighs about 40 grams. Um, I think I was trying to pick it up here to give you a closer look. You can see inside the box there are all the other threads. But the tearaway stabilizer I use is uh, 90 centimeters tall and 200 meters long. So there's an awful lot of backing on that roll. It is a good general use stabilizer. Uh, it doesn't weigh too... Oops, I ripped the package in. I don't think I meant to do that going to say it doesn't weigh too much but when there's 200 meters on a roll it actually is pretty heavy but uh, 40 grams is a really great weight because you can double up on stabilizer in case you're ever doing a more dense embroidery and you need that extra stabilization. I'm particularly excited about this next product this is the body building form you use for 3d and puff embroidery I opened the packaging and it literally smelled like a new car and I absolutely loved the smell. I don't use this stuff often but I'm planning on making a video all about 3D and puff embroidery and also embroidering on hats. This is 3mm flexible foam and yeah I'm just very excited to use this. I've got a lot of ideas for my own kind of branded merch that I want to make ordered it in white as well but the foam comes in all different colors so you can kind of match the color of the foam to the top thread 3d embroidery is really popular at the minute and out of all the stuff i ordered today that was what i was most excited about getting my hands on then i decided it would be easier to take everything out of the box first before i started uh, talking about all the other things i bought but because I am actually a gremlin sized person and this box is absolutely huge, uh, this was much more tricky than I imagined. Um, the box was really deep and I didn't have the common sense to just tip it up and pull everything out. But it literally feels like Christmas morning. I'm pulling so many packets out of this box and they're all full of lovely colour threads. You'll notice that I purchase a lot of individual colours. Sometimes I think it would be much more cost effective if I just picked maybe 30 or 40 core colours that I used in all of my patches and stuck to those colours for all of my patches. So I could just purchase those items in bulk, which would be cheaper overall. <laughs> Look at my hair. I think I was getting out of breath at this point. <laughs> Probably the most exercise I've had all year. But yeah, I purchase a lot of individual colours rather than uh, in bulk colours because I take so many custom orders and generally uh, people want all different colours in their designs. So it just made sense to order every colour in the rainbow. That way I could always keep my customers happy and fulfil their wishes. Yay, empty box. Now let's move on and look at what I bought. So there it is, all laid out on the kitchen table. Um, a pretty good haul. After unpacking everything, I like to check off the items I've bought against the items on the packing list, just to make sure everything is accounted for. 
These are value weight pre-wound bobbins. They are ultra convenient and time saving, but I am moving away from pre-wound bobbins because they all contain these little plastic cores, which I think are very bad for the environment. So now I purchase these very large white spools of bobbin thread or under thread, and I wind my own bobbins on metal casings. I know the uh, large under thread spools still have that hard plastic core, but I just feel like one larger plastic core is more likely to be recycled than hundreds of thousands of little itty bitty plastic cores that more than likely end up in landfill. Metal bobbins also turn more smoothly through your bobbin casing and this is better for embroidery tension. The um, cardboard sided bobbins sometimes have like a little bit more friction and you can see sometimes on the underneath of your embroidery there's a lot more push and pull going on. Next, I do sometimes bulk buy on the colours I use a lot of. These are 5,000 metres of Madeira Classic threads. Uh, it's a viscose thread. All of the threads I use are Madeira Classic. And I'll show the size comparison between one of these 5,000 metre spools and a 1,000 metre spool in a minute. did the math, and I'm not sure if I'm wording this correctly, but if you buy the 5,000 meter spools, you're basically saving a fifth of the price than if you purchased five individual 1,000 meter spools. So it's better value to buy the 5,000 meters if you can. Now onto the fun part, it's time to open up all of these boxes, which contain um, 1,000 meter embroidery spools and make sure that all of the pretty colors match what is on the packing sheet. Not my proudest moment in the background there, that nearly ended in disaster. So like I already said, I only use Madeira Classic Cottons, my embroidery. That's my favorite color green there that I just showed you. <laughs> I get the best price I can from these cottons by purchasing directly from the manufacturer, not through a third party. And this is the 1000 meter spool versus the 5000 meter spool. Uh, obviously the 5000 meters is much thicker and it also lasts so much longer as well. And for my own enjoyment, here are all the pretty colours laid out on the table. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous and vibrant? This is exactly why I love Madeira's classic cottons. The colours just really do pop and they are my favourite things. Laying them out like this also makes it much easier for me to compare to my packing list because I use these cottons so often now I can basically remember all the numbers, more or less. <laughs> Madeira have never actually made a mistake packing my order, but I still like to do this just in case there's something that has been missed off the invoice. I can chase them up straight away and have that cotton sent out to me. After checking the invoice, it's time to refill my thread display. This is definitely the most satisfying part of the process. I'm not going to spend too long showing you this because obviously you get the idea. I'm just filling in the gaps. My most used colours, I usually order a few duplicates of. The duplicates don't fit on the thread display because there's only one of each colour. Um, so those duplicates usually stay in their boxes. Even though it did take me a long time to amass all of these threads, I do think it's worth having one of every colour. But now I feel confident that I can almost colour match anything because as you can see, Madeira has such a vast colour range. It gives me a lot of confidence when working on custom orders. The only gaps left are from colours that are already threaded up to embroidery machines. And that concludes today's YouTube video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into the products I use. Um, I will be doing more in-depth videos in the future on how I use my products, uh, particularly the backing material. I'm going to do another video all about backing materials, what type of stabilizers to use and when. Upcoming videos in the immediate future will be embroidering on ball caps because it's summertime. I'm also using puff embroidery and puff embroidery on ball caps. I decided whether I'm going to do just one big video or two individual videos. Uh, let me know which you would prefer in the comments below. 
Um, I know sometimes I tend to get a little bit carried away because one point leads to another and the video ends up being like 20 minutes long. So let me know if you prefer like bite-sized content over long videos. If you prefer long videos, that's cool as well because I, to be honest, I seem to naturally gravitate towards doing that anyway. Uh, I'm also going to be releasing videos on metallic threads and lots of other stuff. Um, but for now, like I'm saying, I am feeling a little bit rusty. The start of the year was very, very busy. We were doing a lot of conventions. There wasn't a lot of time to film YouTube videos in the same rhythm that I was posting and filming them before. So it is taking me a little bit of getting used to it to kind of get back into that routine of regularly posting videos. But hopefully now that there's kind of a calm period between now and the autumn Comic Cons, we'll get back into some kind of method and I'll be posting videos more regularly. Again, thank you all for your comments and for your support, for following my Instagram, which is pink underscore bird underscore originals. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your feedback and your involvement in my channel. And I hope to see you guys all next time when I post my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.